Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can add an image to the announcement bar in your Squarespace website. Now, if you want to add a background image, check out the related videos linked below for that tutorial. In this one, we'll be adding an image to the side of the text so you can feature a visual of what's going along with your announcement. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but as I'm sure you can imagine, there are quite a few parts of this code that you'll need to change to make it uniquely yours. So I'll go ahead and share my screen and teach you exactly how to use it. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace. I am using version 7.1, but the codes in this tutorial will work in older versions too. This is the code that we're going to use to add the image to our announcement bar, but don't be intimidated by all the lines of text here. Only the stuff in bold is stuff that you'll need to change, and I'll walk you through it step by super simple step. First, we need to turn on our announcement bar. So I'll navigate to website, select website tools, click into announcement bar, and here we'll enable it. Now I've added some filler text that's bold and italicized and even added an emoji and a click-through URL. Change this to whatever you need it to be and select save. Then we can get into the custom CSS. Inside Website Tools, CSS is at the very top, so we'll click on that, and this is where we'll paste the code. Again, this is listed in the description below. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that a lot of stuff has changed here, and it's scooted the text really high. Now, we're going to be making some changes, so don't worry about it looking weird right now. This first part of the code actually changes the background color for the announcement bar. I wanted to change the style for mine, but it's actually not necessary. You can totally remove that part of the code if you don't want it. Now, the next thing we need to do is to change this to be the URL for the image that we want featured on our announcement bar. Now, how do we get that URL? We upload it to Squarespace. I'm going to click on Custom Files. This is where we need to place the image, not your asset library, Custom Files. Here, I can click this plus sign or just drag and drop it from my computer, and now the image will upload. Back here inside our custom CSS, I'm going to highlight the text that says URL here, I'll hit delete on my keyboard, and now I can select the site example, the PNG that I uploaded here, from my list of custom files. And there we go. The image has now been included. After you've updated the URL, ignore these lines of the code. These need to stay the same so that this works for the announcement bar, so don't make any adjustments here. The next pieces you want to adjust are the height, the width, and the margin. The height and the width will change the size of that image that we uploaded, and these margins will adjust where it's actually located on the screen. If I want to scoot it down a little bit, I can say margin negative 5, and we'll actually be getting rid of the announcement bar text. It's a little bit too far, so how about we say negative 3? Cool, we can see a little bit of overlap there. Now let's say we actually want it to be much larger as well. Maybe we want it to be 6 REM in width and height, and we want it to have a little bit more of a margin down here. There we go, that looks a little bit better. As you can see, this is super duper customizable and you'll want to adjust these values so it suits the style for your own site. I think maybe 4.5 would be great there. And let's go ahead and make sure that this is balanced as well. This next line of code is what changes the location of that text. I went ahead and moved it down the Y axis a little bit, but how about we say 0.5 instead of one and that'll scoot it down a little bit more. Again, super duper customizable depending upon the size of the image and where you want the text. One last reminder, adjust the height and width. This will change the size of that shape. And then margin left and margin bottom changes the placement. And this next line is what changes the placement of the actual text in your announcement bar. Now, last but not least, we've got one more margin left and margin bottom to work with. And that's specifically for mobile devices. If we take a look at the mobile view, you'll see that it's got a completely different layout. We've centered the image here at the top, and we did give it a little bit of space between the image and the text, and I scooted it to the center. Again, super duper customizable. Maybe you want that to be a zero, so it's much closer to the image. Maybe you want this to only be, how about 5VW from the left, so that scoots it over to the side. Super customizable here. Just edit those values for margin, height, and width. And don't forget to update this to the proper URL for your background image. After you've made all the changes you want to see on both mobile and on desktop, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes that we just used to add that image to our announcement bar. Just make sure you update the placeholder text and change up the values so the size and location of the image is perfect for your own unique website. Don't forget to double check mobile. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash email. There you can sign up for my email newsletter so I can send you more information on how to make Squarespace uniquely yours. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash email. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.